Dynamic metering in HiQnet London Architect allows us to visually monitor the signal level at any point inside a SoundWeb London device. If I turn on my audio, move my cursor on top of any wire, a meter pops up, showing me both a visual bar graph and a numeric value for that level. If I move my cursor, I can check the level on a different wire. At the bottom of that meter, there's a little thumbtack. While the meter is visible, I can click on the thumbtack and pin that meter in place so it won't move. I can then go and compare signal levels at other locations in the design file to that output signal. If I pin this meter in place, move to a third location, nothing happens. There's a maximum number of meters that can be in place at one time. That maximum can never be more than 20, and it defaults to 2. That's controlled under Properties on the main layout window. The reason for that limit is that dynamic meters do take up a little bit of DSP power. On a Blue 160 or a Blue 800, it's not so important. It's a very small amount of DSP power. On a Blue 16 or a Blue 80, it might be more significant if you're coming close to maxing out the power of that DSP device. That number can be modified to anything from 0 to 20. If we do increase that number to 20, we'll see that we have to reload the design file before going online because we've now changed the design file. And we can now place up to 20 dynamic meters in the design file at one time. may not be the most useful thing we've done all day, but it's fun to watch.